Okay, um, this is a new camera I got. I'm not using my phone this time. Um, I'm pretty sure it's working, so I'm still figuring out how to work this thing, so bear with me, but I'm going to do a video of a garden tour at my dad's house. I think this is part four, but I might be mistaken. I can double check. But, um, it is... Let's see here. It is April 29th, and it's 5.46 p.m. It's really warm out here right now. It feels good. It is like 75 76 maybe even 78 degrees um these are the i pulled some weeds out of that garden over there where the daffodils are which are blooming but this garden i still need to pull more weeds out so i'll show you that there's some dandelions in here i'm not counting those as weeds because i love dandelions most people most people consider those as weeds and they are but i like them so i'm going to keep them because the ones in the lawn are going to get mowed up or killed anyway so i'll keep the ones in the garden so yeah this is garden tour it looks like it's the third one at my dad's house not the fourth one so yeah um the zooming on this one is slower than on my phone i'll show you the zooming in there's a tulip right there Sorry, right there, not right there, right there. So let's see here. Yep, there's the zooming in. Sorry, it's shaky. Um, I'll let you get a better view of that. Sun's kind of shining on it, all interesting. Camera's definitely different than my phone. Um, there's another dandelion right there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. Why is it looking different on the camera? It looks, that's kind of what it looks like, it just on the camera, the sun's shining on it, makes it look different. Sorry about that. And uh, right here are some Johnny Jump Ups here. Yeah, the camera quality is interesting. From the sun. But yeah, those are Johnny Jump Ups there. Yeah. And there's some columbines starting right there from these big ones there. Tulip there will bloom soon. And then, let's see here. A big columbine there that started last year and there too. It kind of spread it all over the place. So these I planted. I thought they were columbine, but they might be something else. I can't remember what they are. But these are here, and there's some there. And I planted some right here and right there, too, but they didn't come up. It's just right there and right there, which are pretty, they're perennials, and I'm curious to see what they do, because I forgot what I planted there. There's more columbine there, and then more tulips there. Those huge things are iris. They've gotten, they've gotten tall. Yeah, so... Oh, and here's the uh, honey locust trees. They're getting uh, some buds right there. Oh my goodness, you can see those. The trees budded out really fast today. Because this wasn't here yesterday, and it's been really warm today. And I noticed the American elm trees on the trail budded out too a little bit. And got some leaves on them, which is really surprising. But yeah, because they just budded out fast, but it's been so warm today. And I'll show you. It's the baby imperial honey locust that we planted. Last year it's getting buds too. Can't wait to see the new growth that it gets. And there's the moon right there. I don't know if you can see it. See how much this zooms in. That's cool. Here's the neighbor's aspen tree. And then, yeah. I'll show you the house plants and stuff. They have stuff about the house. Some daffodils there and tulips there that aren't doing anything. Same there. There's some bushes. There's some daffodils here that are blooming here. They look pretty nice. Camera quality is so weird. But, um, yeah. That's a honey locust tree. I don't know if it died or not, but I've been giving it water, but I, I put it outside. These tulips are almost about to bloom here. Right there. That one's almost about to bloom and open up. I bet you tomorrow or the next couple days it will. There's some more iris there, and there's another um, daffodil there. More tulips. I weeded this out. There's also a hens and chick succulent right there. More irises there and there and there. And tulips there. More irises there and there. More tulips there. This random tulip here. There's that tree which is 
beautiful yellow flowers on them in the, in the like late on the late spring. This um is a uh, I know what it is. It was a uh, I can't believe I forgot the name. We used to have one. It gets pretty smelling flowers, and uh, yeah. So it's getting leaves on there. This uh, autumn blaze maple tree is getting leaves here. So yeah. There's these um trees here, or bushes, or whatever they are. The air conditioner's on. Let's see what it looks like on this. Yeah, it looks the same as on my phone. But the air conditioner's on. There's this bush. Oh yeah, this tree, the sweeping thing, is getting uh, leaves and flowers on it. Mostly flowers, and then, and then leaves underneath there. So yeah. That's good. There's that bush. There's the, uh, they're not necessarily, they're not really leaves, they're actually seeds, and then the leaves come on after. But these actually turn brown eventually, and they drop everywhere. These are the elm, American elm tree seeds. So, yeah. I'll show you the uh, tulips by the trail, they're almost blooming. It's a really nice day out, everybody's out today. So, yeah, there's these tulips there, and these ones here, which are almost about to bloom. They're getting those beautiful colors on them, the red and yellow that I've been talking about. These ones are budding, but these ones aren't blooming yet, but they almost are. Another American elm tree on the trail. And then here is this um, tree that I remember was an inch tall. The box elder maple tree is getting leaves now, and it's as tall as me almost. So yeah. Oh yeah, and then there's irises over there, but nothing else much back here. So yeah, and these two looks are gonna bloom soon, which I'm excited for because they're really pretty ones. I have to figure out how to get them water. There's not really much water back here unless it rains, but I think. I don't know for sure. I mean, like the sprinklers, they don't have full pressure yet, but I might today because I saw the neighbors on this morning with full pressure. There's a paper wasp there. I don't know if you saw it, but I'm, I have a feeling that they have full pressure, so I'm planning on having them come on tonight. And we'll see how that goes. Probably at 9 p.m. Uh, these are the yucca, weeping yuccas. Not yucca, yucca. Here and here. This is the Douglas fir right here. There's the hollyhocks right there showing up. They have white flowers. The other ones have pink flowers which are inside here. I don't know how that one happened to have white flowers, but it does. So yeah, there's the Douglas fir. And I forgot, I think I forgot to show last time, but there's hens and chicks here. Like succulents here, and there, and right there. And my dad mowed up one of them, or brought the lawnmower back here, like right here, to chop all this grass and weeds. And he, the wheel must have jacked one of these up. I can't remember which one, but it's looking better now, I think. I think this tree died. I'm really bummed. I don't know how, but I think it died. Um, but yeah, I guess, yeah, I don't know how it died. There's some rhubarb right there. The cherry tree is getting leaves and buds and stuff now, or flowers almost. Last time I did a video, these were just buds. Now they're getting leaves and stuff. I can't wait to see the new growth. And then, there's giant jump ups in here. The pot cracked, and I think they're coming back. I can't tell for sure. I gotta get these leaves out of here, but these are from last year. So yeah, I guess I should get that out, because these look like new ones that are popping up, so. Yeah, we'll see what happens. There's like a lot in there, I can't remember. And then, um, move up there again. Baby American elms I need to pull up. And there's also strawberries within here, but it's Hard to see them because of all this grass and stuff, but there's some right there, and some more right there, and other ones too. And uh, there's a dryer vent if you're wondering. And I'll go around and show you the side here. There's not much, but I'll show you. Yeah, there's people on the trail, they have their dogs walking them, so sorry about all of that barking noise. It happens a lot on the trail. Here's that tree again. 
There's air conditioner again. It's really tall. Front yard again. Oh, and this tree's getting buds right there too. And there. And then I'll show you the the bushes and the daffodils in the side yard over here. Right there they are right here. There's the daffodils. They're doing good. There's two of them here. So yeah. And then there's the there's some tulips here that got big this year, which is nice. They're not blooming yet, but there's this bush here which we trimmed and then this bush here. American elm here that needs to be chopped out and then there's some tulips down there. You know, this is the there's a paper wasp right there. I don't know if you can see it. They have long legs. They're European paper wasps, but they, they um people like say wasps are aggressive but then they are, but paper wasps not as aggressive as other ones. Anyways, yeah that's the um hollyhocks from last year, the seeds from them. Then you line there and then the tulips there, the flag pole and um this bush here and there's more tulips there i don't know if you can see them lots of uh, wasps over here by that bush paper wasps and then there's hollyhock stuff and tree stuff all over the place here and the neighbor's air conditioner just turned off if you're wondering what that sound was they have tulips over there that are blooming and then across the street they have some tulips under the trees that are blooming i don't know if you can see but yeah and that feels over there too yeah, spring is here now. I'm glad. Yeah, the air conditioner over there has got the uh, blades slowing down. I don't know if you can see it, but... And there's the uh, poplar trees that drop all these worms everywhere. Not worms, but like they look like worms. They're like seed things. And this is some American elms, but this is a tree from the roots of those. So this root, the roots from those go all the way over there, I think. And it's crazy because this tree came up from those. And we can't kill it because then we kill those. That's about it, and uh, yeah, that's about everything about our garden, and I hope you all enjoy.